Hey guys, Dylan here, and um, I have my girlfriend helping me film this little video. So I have my mic here for a second. I'm just gonna briefly in this video show how I use uh, the laptop. It's kind of the same, in the same way as a lot of things. It's like um, speech output. It tells me uh, what I'm uh, doing and uh, what, what's going on. So I'll just kind of give you an idea. So for the program that I'm using is NVDA. It's like a free program and I'm on my desktop right now, which has a bunch of stuff. Some I don't use anymore. Some that's my girlfriend's and all that. And so like how you would navigate a little bit is um, with the arrow keys in just a normal thing. You go up and down. So like that. I don't know if you can hear it talking. Hopefully you can, but and um, that's like just when I'm focused on an area and then to move around in other areas for instance I hit a uh, tab and so to go forward that gets me to start and if I want to go back to like the desktop or go backwards I hold shift and I hold um, and then I hit a uh, tab to go back to desktop so to go that lets me go back and forth, and then this is, um... Search your button. Talk to Cortana button. Yeah, different, button. different stuff. Running applications to and I go to my running app settings applications, button. then I have settings pinned. Google Chrome, one and then I have button. Google Chrome, and I just kind of move around stuff. It also works like if you go to, like, YouTube um, on websites. Of course, different, you'll have different, like, shortcuts and commands for different websites, and different things, but you move around different things. Space, and uh, I guess I'll do this. I'll go back. Desktop list. Go to our file explorer. The way I open some of this stuff is I hit enter. Space and enter kind of acts as like the same thing, but enter is kind of more final. But, but space can... Space can also go through uh, and click on links and stuff, but may not be like, it, like yeah. And so this is this. Um, so going to tree view lets me like view everything that's in the folder and the file. Which in this... Like this is a bunch of different stuff. And so you see how I can just navigate and if I want to close a thing, I hit Alt and uh, F1, F2, F3, and F4 for just some shortcuts. Of course, if you go into, like I said, like YouTube, you can listen to videos and it'll tell you the stop and play button and you'll hit that and be able to pause. You'll be able to do all the controls and on the slider bar, you would control it. Um, our computer kind of sucks, so I'm afraid to go on to YouTube. I, we need a new one, but you would use the arrow keys. You'd get... Um, you'd get on to the, the bar where, you know, where it's moving. Um, and then you would hit like left and right arrow keys to move, to skip through the video. And that's kind of how you would do YouTube and just kind of in a way how it works and how I, um, how I use the laptop. In another video um, that I will be filming, I will show how I actually edit audio in Audacity, which, um, which is right here and I can edit audio and I'll be showing that in a different video but overall this is just how a blind person uses a computer at least for Windows I know um, for other people they have like Macs and stuff and that has like um, a different audio thing and there's a couple other ones like uh, Jaws and stuff but I have NVDA because it was free Jaws is like I don't know, like $1,000 or something. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's kind of a brief uh, look at that. Hope you guys enjoyed, like the video and all that good stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. You stop it.